What's happening, folks? Welcome to another shot at the Unbox. I'm your host, CEO, owner of Kids Shogun Fight. I appreciate you for joining us. Now, what we're going to be doing today is real epic, man. Real epic. As you guys know, we're a fashion brand. We're a comic brand, anime brand, the whole thing. Video games is what we do. We love that. We're glad that y'all joining us on all of our social media platforms. We're on IG, Twitter, Facebook, the whole thing. So if you don't know now, you should know now. Underscore Kid Shogun underscore. You can catch us on IG and Twitter. And also we're on Facebook too. And of course, you got to go to KidShogun.com. Catch yourself one of these here beanies. This here good old hoodie I got on. And I got on some joggers to, you know, round out the look. Oh yeah, and I got these crossover socks on too. So, you know, we got this stuff all there on our website. Make sure you stop in. Check it out, man. Give us some support. We'll support you back. Like, love, share, follow, the whole thing. And uh, we'll get right back at you. But anywho, man, we are here right now for an epic unboxing. Cue the music. Three pairs of epic proportions going down. This is the Puma RSX Masters of the Universe Revelation Edition. These are not available on our website, but you can always go and pick some up wherever you want to pick up your sneakers and stuff like that, right? But anywho, man, let's get into this unboxing because I know y'all ready for it. I done gave y'all plenty of promo for it. Y'all done seen the pictures. So let's go ahead and get in this thing so y'all can see the detail of what's going on, all right? And so now we've got the last but certainly not least pair of the RSX Mo2 edition from Puma right here. So we're excited about this one because this one here is the is the set off for the whole thing. Now, I'm going to date myself here, right? I'm, I'm going to date myself really good for y'all, right? So if you can understand, okay... The late 80s, right? The late 80s was a revolutionary time when it came to action figures and really representing the characters that you see on TV in the physical form, right? So as a kid in the 80s, you know, finding your G.I. Joes or your He-Man or whatever, your Ninja Turtle characters and stuff like that in store was like, oh my God, right? It was like, oh my God. Anyway... But for this now to be here in a shoe form, right, to represent this particular mainstay character, the main character of the whole series is really epic, right? Let alone, you know, Battle Cat and Skeletor. But what they did with this, with this here to pay homage to He-Man is real special. We're going to see what y'all know about it. Check it out. Bang. So here we go, man. This is the RSX He-Man from Puma. Uh, it's got good colors. You know, if you are OG He-Man fan like myself, you recognize the color scheme already off the top. You know, 
you see the red situation going on there. Boom. You got the your, your burnt orange going around the front end, suede style. You know, you got... Right there along the side there. So y'all already know that's the battle cry. And that had, you know, many kids running through their neighborhoods, running through their through they, they backyards, inside their homes, you know what I mean? Screaming that with sticks and swords and all kind of stuff, man. So this is uh, something real special. Uh, and to see this represented in this form, this form factor, man. Of course, on the tongue, it's got that He-Man guy right there uh, posted up. And then... And then they went the extra mile on this piece, right? You piece, you you feel on this here, this here tongue and all that kind of stuff, man. And you're gonna find yourself feeling on some fur, man. You did. You got some fur on the tongue, man. That's extra special, right there. That's extra spicy, if I do say so myself. You know, the uh, the ridges on the backside of here has got that uh, that 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 almost metallic look to it. It, it it's still kind of you know it's still plastic or whatnot. But it's still a good look as it kind of reminds me of like, you know, a shield or, you know, a, a breastplate for armor or something like that. The Puma sign, of course, is that it's that uh, that that burnt orange uh, tone, which kind of sets off on the with the white background. You know, what I mean, on, over that mesh, uh, you know, it gives you uh, the, the orange um, orange shoestrings, uh, you know, on the shoe. But then it comes with another color of shoestring, which is these red joints, too, that you can add to it as you feel. So, you know, this one right here for sure sets it off for all my nostalgia heads, you know, kids that grew up in the 80s to the, you know, early 90s when it comes down to, you know, what He-Man was, the popularity of it and all of that, man. So, you know, definitely, definitely, if that's if that's your job, you know, what I mean, you are a master of the universe fan uh, like we were, you know, what I mean, I suggest, you know, picking these up, man. And, uh, you know, what I mean, stepping out on them boys like so. Like so, like so, you did. But hey, that's it, man. RSX He Man from the Masters of the Universe edition from Puma, man. That's uh legit, you did. By the power of Grayskull.